I've put myself in NCAA football, and if we're being completely honest, I'd be a terrible quarterback, but I want to play through a realistic road to glory where I'm going to return back to college at Northern Kentucky, and the goal is to go from starting as a 45 overall all the way up to a 99 where I can win the Heisman and hopefully get the Norse National Championship. Now, this might be impossible because my team isn't good, and I've put it on the hardest settings like always, but Northern Kentucky is in the MAC Conference, which helps, and I'll be playing through my entire freshman year in this first episode. The goal is to work my way up from being a third stringer to being the starter, but the two guys ahead of me are both much better players, and my throwing stats couldn't be any worse, so it's a good thing that I played soccer in the past, which is the only reason I have some speed and stamina, but unfortunately, I also have to be honest about my height, and I have a feeling that most of my goals in this series aren't even possible. My team's first game is an hour south in Lexington, and obviously, I had to watch from the sidelines as we lost by 35 points to Kentucky, but we knew it would be a while before I saw the field, and if Davis Brennan continues to throw picks, taking the starting job might not be that hard. We can't even be worried about that yet, though, because we have to become a second stringer first, and with 57 throws, power, my only goal for this first practice is just throw stuff underneath, but it's still going to be inaccurate because I don't have great throw accuracy either, and this is going to be difficult. I just want to rack up as much XP as I can so I can upgrade my player as soon as possible, and I've already found Jay stun the second a few times during this practice. He's going to come away with another catch for 10, but there's a lot of plays where nobody gets open, and I'm going to try to scramble for the first time where I get outside the pocket and get a few. It really hasn't gone as bad as I thought it could, but there is a lot of issues because I've missed quite a few throws, and at the same time, I've dealt with some drops, so maybe it's best if I just run because this is going to get us our largest gain yet. That could be the strategy, but it really doesn't earn that much coach trust for me. And I only have 35 so far, even though I've made no mistakes with any turnovers and I've been trying to do the right thing. I'm going to need some breakaway plays for touchdowns or something. I don't think these drags underneath are going to work. And another receiver I've been building up some good rapport with is Malachi Harris. Both him and Jay Stun the second seem to operate in the slot. I'm going to try my first deep ball, but it's dropped. And I should have known I'm not going to have the arm power to do stuff like that. That was a great throw for my last rep, but it was dropped, and the only upgrades I can afford with that much XP would only boost us up for one game. It's going to be a long season for us, but as it goes on, things should get better, and this is a winnable matchup for my program. You all are going to get a first look at the home stadium, and it's small, but this is the first year NKU's had a team, where freshman halfback Calvin Gibbs just put us up by 10 points. I'm shocked we destroyed an FCS school by this much, but it's a good sign, and now I'm having my first outdoor practice in the rain, which didn't start well. All the coach trust I'm trying to build up just could have gotten lost with one play, which really stinks, but I'm sure we can work to get it back, I think a good idea will be just rolling out here, and that's so off target. This is definitely the hardest challenge I've ever given myself, but I feel like if I lock in, eventually I'll be able to figure things out, and all of these drops are starting to drive me nuts. Maybe I just need to scramble and get Coach Trust this way, because at least I won't mess up on this. And on this next rep, man-to-man -man coverage is gonna allow Harris to be open, but I never want to practice in the rain again. We are suffering with drop after drop, and I just want to become at least the second stringer. That was honestly a really good throw, and again, I'm gonna try and take this slant, but it goes straight to them. So my coach trust just got reset to zero, and I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot. I built it up to like 100, but I need like 900 to become the starter. I'm just going to run on this play, and 22 is going to catch me. But because I'm starting from the bottom again, I'm fine trying to force it into some deeper windows. And with six reps left, I'm going to take this corner route over to Malachi Harris, who gets us a bit. To be honest, the second practice did not go how I thought it would, but we dealt with a ton of drops, and that's a good throw. So I've passed for a touchdown. That's what you love to see, and then there's a pick. I think it's going to be a very long road to glory for me. I'm not sure if I can pull this off. That was a good spin move, but I will lock in and eventually figure things out. This is the final rep of the second practice, and David's going to get us to like the five or maybe the two. We're starting to earn a little bit more XP, but the coach trust isn't coming easy, and that just means that this next practice will have to be perfect, where that's a great start to our tight end. Keaton David has not been bad for us, and I'm just going to scramble on this next play for a few. Compared to the rain, this is much better. I like that we're indoors again, and it looks like I'm going to be able to take this side of the field for an easy 25. Those are the plays I'm going to have to make if I'm ever going to become the starter, but I wasn't prepared for the blitz and it's going to hurt us. They are sending in pressure so quick. I think the only benefit for playing for a bad school is I'm also facing off against a defense that isn't the best. I've been scrambling a lot and it looks like I'm going to take off for a touchdown. Those are the types of runs that are going to make me a second stringer, but then I follow it up with terrible passes that weren't meant to go that far anyway, and that's why I have to scramble. I will say because of that long touchdown run, my coach trust has gone up a lot, but Scott Dallas dropping the ball doesn't help, and there's not that many reps left in this practice. They're all over the wide receiver screen, but at the end of the day, I'm very happy with how things went, and we will take it. That gives me enough XP to finally upgrade my player, but the only one I have enough for is read and react, and that is not worth it. At least we're still coming for that second string spot, and who knows, maybe one of the guys in front of us will get injured, which couldn't hurt us because we just got annihilated by our rivals, Western Kentucky. I never got to see the field in the game, but the backup did, so that's why it's so important we keep earning coach trust, and I could either upgrade our acceleration or throw power, but I'm gonna have to take the boost to our 
throw power. It won't make much of a difference yet, but I do want to attempt at least one deep shot, and that is on the money. Maybe having a little bit more throw power will make a difference because that was an amazing throw, and confidence is through the roof. I am coming for that second string spot. Now they're giving us four verticals, and I have to roll out because they will instantly get sacks, but sometimes it opens up lanes like this to take, so I cannot complain, and we're continuing to improve our stats more and more. Now I'm going to take this slant, and are you serious? That would have been an interception just because it was an accurate ball, and that's why I am going to keep keeping it on the ground. That's a good juke move. Go down. And I guess on this next play, we're just going to beam it to freshman receiver Dalen Maurice. All around, this has been another solid practice, and we're going to have that route over the middle to Malachi Harris. But I am so terrified of taking a sack because our offensive line isn't the best. I'm going to set my feet and find David, our tight end, who goes all the way to the five. Boys, I have never played this well. I am normally blind whenever I'm throwing the ball. But we have worked our way up to like 350 coach trust, and this is going to be even more. Words cannot express how excited I am to see how much we are getting, and I didn't take the halfback screen. It wasn't open, but that was the right decision. Right now as a 47 overall, I'm in my bag until that throw. Well, that kind of kills all the momentum I've built up, but we can take this four verticals route, and I was scared that number 23 was about to play it. We're not going to have enough XP to get another upgrade after this practice, but we have put up some really good numbers with throws like this one too. And if we continue to lose, moving up the depth chart won't be as difficult. Every single time you take a loss, it gets a little bit easier. This is the final rep of this practice where Gibbs gets a 10, and that's the most XP I've ever gotten from one. I've had the lock in, but now we're halfway there, and I highly doubt that we're going to beat Vanderbilt. You know what? It really wasn't that bad, so maybe NKU does have a bright future, but not with Davis Brennan as he threw three interceptions again. We don't really deserve it, but next up is a bye week, so I'm about to have back-to-back -back practices, and you've got to be kidding me. We are outside in the rain again. These are always so much harder, and we seem to struggle in them more, but I'm going to be able to take off. There's a linebacker to beat, and that's dumb. I literally just ran into a guy that weighs like 100 pounds more than me, but at least I didn't fumble the ball. And you got to love how Scott Dallas just decided to ruin this play. He's a junior wide receiver. He should not be making mistakes like that, but we're going to get the touchdown. And he immediately made up for his mistakes, so I can't even complain about it. We're now up to 500 coach trust, so we just need 300 more. But I've not thrown an interception in a while, so I know one has got to be coming sometime soon, and that is what scares me a ton. Those turnovers lose you like 200 coach trust, so you really can't make any mistakes. And this rain practice is going a lot better than the last one, but our running back is in my way. So I simply had to step up in the pocket, and that coverage is not going to stick with Scott Dallas. I'm starting to realize that the cornerbacks on this team aren't very good, just like our wide receivers, and Calvin Gibbs continues to run it down the field. So I'll gladly give him another halfback toss where this one isn't going anywhere. I have earned enough XP to get another upgrade for my player, though, so that's a great thing. And look at Jay Stun the second. He came so close to reaching the end zone for us, and there's not that many reps left. I think I'm just going to take off here, and the ball is loose. We just lost like 100 coach trust. And that's what I'm saying. I cannot make like any mistakes. That's going to probably be a pick. So it's a good thing nobody understood where that ball was going. And I love the four verticals play call, but that's an interception. This is the downfall I was talking about. And I just messed up at the end of this practice. Things were going so smoothly for us, but now I'm just going to run around, put a guy in a spin cycle, and we'll take the yardage. With 5,000 XP, I want to spend it, but none of these upgrades are really that good. So we're just going to advance the week. And this is the second time that we're taking chick magnet. I've already been able to increase my throw power by eight. And this indoor practice is exactly what we need. I might lock in and not say a thing for a while just so we can hopefully get some upgrades. I already know that this isn't going to be the best of ideas, but I want to go with the deep shot with my new throw power and it's dropped. But that could have very easily been an interception and I don't know why I thought we could pull it off, but I'm still going to scramble for a ton of yardage and I almost broke free. I feel like we're only a couple of practices away from challenging to be the backup, but if we're going to do that, I'm not able to make any mistakes and I'm going for the deep post. I have to get yards here. It looks like they're bringing a lot of pressure on this one, so I'm just going to have to run out to the right. R1 is open. He needs to keep making his route, and then I tried to throw it to him, but we fumble. I was ready to give it to him, but by the time I hit the button, we were already past the line of scrimmage. And there's another mistake, but that fumble only lost us like 65 coach trust, so it's not as bad as the last one. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I can't complain about it. Robbins gets his first catch of this video, and I've been in Wildcat for the last two minutes, but they won't hike the ball, so I have to quit practice. And losing a rep there really stings because every last one of them counts. This halfback screen ended up going pretty well for us, but I always know that they're going to pick up on it on the second one as Calvin Gibbs isn't going to be able to get very far. I'm trying my best to get us a position battle and I have to just set my feet, make the right read, but it's still off target. I'm sure when I watch this back, I'm going to see other stuff that was open and be upset about that. And you all never fail to let me know in the comments when there's a read I didn't take, but I did see that one to Scott Dallas who goes down at the one and I would have loved credit for a touchdown there, but I did just notice that I don't need as much coach trust anymore to become the backup. So that's what I'm saying. As we lose games, it's not going to be as difficult to move up the depth chart and we just got to keep earning some XP.
participate. Realistically, we're one or two good practices away from a position battle, but for now I have to watch my team suffer some more losses. And Davis Brennan must have gotten hurt or injured because Colton Reynolds has been out there all day, but the backup only got us three points, so he didn't play that well, and it feels like my chance has to be coming soon. These indoor practices are the ones that we have to take advantage of, and I'm going to instantly scramble on this one. But why they're so important is because we don't play well whenever we have to go out in the rain, and their coverage is clamping us up. I don't know why I even tried to complete a pass there, but it ended up not backfiring for us. And I'm just going to roll out here and try to take the deep post. It actually got open, and look at that pass. That's going to boost up so much coach trust. I just have to be smart with the rest of practice. I have been working for this all season, and we have them beat deep. That ball is going to be underthrown, though. And I don't know why I tried to take it, but that was not the right decision there. I went for the big play, and you can't do that with a quarterback that's throwing stats are as bad as mine are at this point in my career. But I feel like I've bounced back because I'm back at about 500 coach trust at this point in practice, and I'm going for another deep post, which is caught. I'm really surprised that those are working for us. They're very risky reads to make with my throw accuracy, but I am desperate to compete for the backup job. I just want to get out there on the field, and that would get me one step closer, but this wide receiver screen is boxed. And with five reps left, they're running man-to-man -man coverage, so Dalen Maurice gets open on that route again. But he's not been able to burn him for a touchdown yet, and we're going to take our tight end as Keaton David takes it to the 10. I have bounced back from that very dumb interception in practice, but we're still going to need quite a bit of coach trust to earn a position battle, and we keep earning more XP. Upgrade-wise, though, there's nothing that I really want to take, and I'm hoping that we lose to the Red Hawks, because maybe then I won't need as much coach trust. And we honestly put up a good fight, but they still won by 13. This next practice could change everything, though, and going into it, I am tempted to take a one-game boost. But instead, I decided to save our XP, and of course this one is out in the rain, but that was a good catch from Scott Dallas running for a lot. And they want us to run that play back, but it's always very risky, so I'm glad he slipped off of him. And we've certainly opened up practice in the rain the right way. Now I'm going to scramble if they're not going to send that much pressure. And it looks like this is going to be man coverage, so we should have freshman wide receiver Dalen Maurice, who doesn't always make the catch, but when he does, he seems solid, and he did not get open there, but he still brought it in. We've gotten kind of lucky with this practice, but he slips on that route. So there's the bad things that start to happen to us in the rain, but it's going to be okay, as long as at least some of our receivers can end up holding onto the ball, and he got in quickly. With 11 reps left, I got a play that I really like. With this play action, I'm able to roll out our wheel routes open. It worked perfectly, and it's going to be caught. That's going to get us enough coach trust so I can end practice now, and I'll be challenging for the second string spot next week. It looks like Davis Brennan has been starting recently, but he's still been struggling, so sooner or later I'm going to get to take some snaps, but I have to win this position battle first, and there's still nothing out here that I want to spend our hard-earned XP on. This is the first position battle of my career, so I'm hoping that it goes really well, but with an inaccurate ball, that is not how I would like things to start out, and I might need to run. I have a feeling it's going to be almost impossible to get 5,000 points, so I'm going to take a deep shot like this one, and because it was caught, it gave us like 500, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to have to continue to take those, and interceptions aren't a penalty. I think I'm going to have to become lucky or something if I ever want to become the backup on this team, and against this coverage, we should have just taken it deep early on. That's going to be underthrown, but it worked out. I feel like I'm playing pretty well, but we've only put up a 1,000 points, and that was another off-target ball, but it almost led to a catch, and then it was dropped. I'm just going to go for the deep shot. We have to take some deep ones, and that's going to be picked. Well, this did not go how I was hoping it would. It seems almost impossible, and unless the bonuses on these last few plays are just insane, there's no way that we're getting that. I feel like it's supposed to be a 1,000, but it's glitched out at 4,600. It was never that high on previous Road to Glories, so I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if it has to do with the difficulty or what, but I've always played on Heisman. For this last rep, we have to get a touchdown, but I doubt it's going to get us 3,000 points, and I still got a long way to go. Versus Western Michigan, we're going to lose by 35, so maybe that'll make the position battle easier to win, and apparently how much coach trust you need is all dependent on the difference in overalls, and apparently I still need 4,600, so that means we're going to go for big passing plays. I'm not sure how we're going to pick this up ever, but eventually I've got to earn the backup spot, so we will figure it out, and that run only got us 110 coach trust of the 4,600 that we're going to need. It seems like these short underneath passes don't do that much either. I know you get more as the practice goes on, but either way, I think we're just going to have to go for some deep plays, and I don't think this is going to work out, but it looks like that's dropped. Let's just say that I'm trying my best to pull stuff off, but there's only so much I can do versus this D. And with eight reps remaining, we're going to go with the deep shot, and that ball is put perfectly on the money. But my teammate dropped it, so it's not going to matter, and we're going to go back in his direction where Maurice gets it into the end zone. That closes us in on a 1,000, but we're going to need like five more of those plays in these final five plays, so that's not happening. And it might be a while before I'm able to earn the starting job at Northern Kentucky, but we're just going to continue to upgrade our player and hope for the best. I think as you become a higher overall, these position battles become a lot easier for you. And remember,
remember, I started this episode as a 45, so it would make sense that we're not gonna have an easy time becoming the backup. If anything, we've gotten a lot of XP out of this, so hopefully that helps us upgrade our player even farther, and I'm about to get used to seeing the failed sign. There's also no way that we beat Northern Illinois, but I guess I was wrong because with 22 seconds left, we are only down by three, and Brennan's gonna throw it to Maurice, who goes to the end zone. It's gonna be so hard to earn the starting job now that we're gonna upset number 18 undefeated Northern Illinois at home, and that is it. I'm glad that that was an ESPN Classic that I didn't even get to play in, and there's not many upgrades we can take, but this one will put our overall up by two, so that seems to make these position battles easier, and we just have to do that a few more times, and then I think it will be manageable to pull off. Obviously, it won't be easy, but if we get lucky with some deep shots, I could see us having success, and we have enough XP to probably get us to like a 55 or 57 overall. This is going to be a big play for Maurice, so I'm starting to have some hope, and it's just going to take some more time to get the job than I thought. I think we could still become the starter by the end of this video, because the starter isn't a much higher overall than the backup, and I might as well slow things down, because I haven't gotten to use this feature yet. It looks like that's going to let that route get open, but you all can tell that the receivers I'm working with sometimes aren't the best, and other times it is me that's the problem, as that was not the right read, and this one's also going to be caught. Even if there's no chance that we win this position battle yet, I'm proud of how far we've come, and we're going to get a route bounce as well to Harris, which is going to go to the end zone. So I'm starting to realize that if we play almost perfectly, we could probably put up like 3,000 points, and because of all of these drops, there's been a lot of them that we've lost out on. We have enough XP to upgrade myself twice, so we're just going to need to get lucky in what becomes available, and there's only one that we can take here, but Deep Ball is going to put us up by three overalls, so now all it takes is 3,600 XP, and this is something we could manage, but a drop on the first play into an interception is a terrible start, and with this one being outside in the rain, I think we're going to struggle immensely. There's almost no chance I get this job. What we could do, though, is get a lot of XP, so I'm hoping we're able to pick some up, and because almost nobody's been able to make a catch, we are not doing too hot. At the end of the day, there's not much I can do about it. I've been trying to make the right reads, and when you're out here in the rain, players are obviously going to struggle to bring it in, so I did run a little bit just to get some XP, but this is going to be by far the worst result that we've ever gotten out of a position battle, and you know what? I'm just going to take off and also stiff arm this guy where the ball just popped loose. I'm hoping that we can all just forget about this one like it never happened because I am not proud of this result, and we only got 490 XP. The Norse are also coming off of a huge win, so even though we don't have that much to play for at this point in the season, it would be nice to see my program improve a little bit. And I don't know what's changed, but Davis Brennan does not want to lose the starting job. I'm not even competing for it. I'm going for the backup one. But all of a sudden, the senior wants to play way better. And we have to get blessed with another plus three upgrade. You know what? I feel like we got pretty lucky because this one's only going to cost us 3,000. And I've improved a ton in my freshman season. This is the first time where I feel like this position battle is actually obtainable. It's going to be very difficult in order to pull it off. We're going to need a lot of big plays. But again, I feel like it is a possibility if we could get lucky and that's not it. I think we're just gonna have to go for some deep shots, hoping for the best. I know that we have a quick wide receiver over there, and with that catch from junior Scott Dallas, we just got a huge boost, but they got in instantly, and I had no chance of ever getting that ball off. That is so unfortunate. I'm looking for the deep post again. This throw is gonna be made on the run, but they keep giving me this same play over and over, and I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. We still need about 2,000 more with only eight reps left, so that means going for the house, and if I'm quick enough, we could end up reaching like the 10-yard line here, but realistically, Scott Scott Dallas is just going to have to get open and take this to the crib and he drops it. I've tried boys, but I don't think this one's going to go as well as I thought. That is a touchdown. So we are halfway to becoming the backup, but we still need a lot to go our way. And I'm rolling out thrown on the run where Gibbs brings this one into the 10. I think in order to actually win though, we're going to have to get some more touchdowns. So I'm going to go deep again. Come on, Scott Dallas, make the catch. And there's only a few plays left. The multiplier does go up for these, but unless they result all in touchdowns, we're probably not winning. What I've realized is we can come pretty close though. And if we play exceptionally well, we could get even more because I have made some mistakes, but we still have to get our overall up a little bit and it's another failed position battle. At the end of the day, things are still starting to look up and it's our first snow game where Central Michigan went out and beat us by 20. Now the coach trust I would have needed to earn the second string has gone down a ton and I feel like I made myself way too low of an overall. I'd love to get this Mr. Fire upgrade, but we're not going to have 8,000 and we might as well just jump into our final game because after this, there's like six practices and I am going to win the backup spot. I might not be able to play in any game but it would set us up nicely for next year. And my only goal in these position battles going forward is to just send up prayers and hope that we can rack up a ton of XP. It's not going to be easy to do whenever they give us quick slant plays and it's still dropped, but I'm sure I'll find a way around it as I've rolled out to this left side of the field and I'm going to take it all the way to the crib. That gets us 400 and if we scored a touchdown on every play, we would have enough. But that's just not realistic to expect because I had a bunch of bad plays in a row and we just can't get anything going. I went for deep shot after deep shot and it just did not pan out. We're going to get some 
XP. But this is going to go down as yet another failed positioning battle throughout this year. And I was hoping that it would go better. Maybe we could end it off with some big plays and that's straight to a safety. I feel like I'm letting you boys down by not being able to win the starting job, but I've given myself a really hard challenge and things are only gonna get more difficult from here. Well, I feel like I've hit the jackpot because flying high is here. It's only 3000 and it puts our overall up by three. So now we're within eight overalls of the backup quarterback and we could definitely win this next position battle. You know that I have to go with the deep shot on this first play as we're just gonna go up to Scott Davis and he is gonna drop it. Only 2,600 points. I know it's still a lot, but this is far more manageable than the 4,600 it was like three or four weeks ago. And we've cracked the code. As long as we continue to upgrade our player, these are gonna get easier and easier, but maybe we could end it here. Keaton David goes to the end zone and we just need 2,000 more coach trust. This is something that we could pull off. The deep post is open and that is going to be caught. I am so nervous now. This is an actual chance to pull this off. Come on, we have got to get this. Keaton David's open and he is going to drop it. We're about halfway through our plays now and you know what? We just have to trust Scott Dallas who's gotten us here and that's another catch from him. I've been surprised at how quick some of our receivers are but that's going to be another. I know that our cornerbacks are slow but I wasn't expecting them to be that slow and there's just five reps left. Surely we're going to be able to pull this one off. I'm going to scramble on this play because I didn't see anything I liked and come on we have got to get some separation with that corner route which we drop. Three plays left now. This is literally it. This is the run that we've needed. I feel like I messed up this one and I just panicked there. I didn't know what to do. I'm going to try and fit it over this window to Scott Dallas and he goes to the two but that's not enough. There's one rep left. We have to pick this up and that is going to be dropped. We had the backup job one there but now we're going to have to try and get it in these last few weeks and I'm really regretting starting my player at such a low overall. With Chick Magnet he is going to go up two more so that should make things easier and these stats keep getting better. All right this has got to be the one. We only need 2,200 but that was not a great start and they've already instantly gotten in pressure so I'm just going to scramble for as much as I can. We had a lot of touchdowns that we probably wouldn't normally have on that last run. That was literally the one that could have done it. But I have to be confident in my teammates to make the plays and get us there again. And that all starts with this being a good throw, but I couldn't get it out. You know that I want to go back to junior Scott Dallas if he's able to get open like he did here, but he hasn't been going for as big of gains on this one. And I'm going to wait for the route bounce. Come on, buddy, run deep. That's what we needed. And he dropped it. I feel like this could be a failed run. We had such a good attempt the last time, but this is going to be caught. And if he wouldn't have fallen over, that would have definitely gone for a lot more. I have to eventually get lucky though. Surely by the end of this video, I won't be just the third stringer. And with five reps left, I'm going to roll out, take the deep post and that's caught. All right. This is another manageable one. Man to man coverage though. Come on, Scott Dallas, just get by him. And if they don't give us much time, there's not much I can do. I have to hope that we can get the deep post here and they've gotten in pressure. I had to make the throw in time. All right. About 500 more with two reps left. That is not going to get open. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. That was kind of just a blind read. This one is not going to be caught. So once again, we have failed, but we have a couple more attempts before the end of the year. And you know what? We didn't finish last in our division either. So maybe this team has a pretty bright future if I could just take over at quarterback. To start this position battle, we have the play call that I like where I can throw it up to Scott Dallas and that is going to be on the money. So that's exactly what we needed. We already have almost 500 points and we just have to play it smart now. Seeing drops like that is so frustrating because we're going to need every last point in this situation. But at the end of the day, this is still much better than trying to get 4,000 and that's a pick. I had to risk throwing it up because that's what works out best for us. Scott Dallas again is going to get by that corner and the junior has single-handedly given me a chance to actually become the starter. The deep post is open and the safety is not getting back to it, but he somehow made a Superman dive and that's unfortunate. We almost had another touchdown. I really thought we had him, but at the end of the day, it's okay. Keaton David reels that in and we just need like 800 more points. This is very manageable. It's like one touchdown and a few big plays away. This is definitely going to help us and I have got to win this starting job. The corner route did not get open though and with a few reps left, I'd rather take a deep shot to the end zone than take the half back here and that's going to be knocked down. Almost caught though. That would have been insane if he brought that in. We could have used it so bad. I think I'm just going to have to run for it on this play because there's no way I was going to be able to set my feet and make a throw. So once again, we need about 500 with two reps left and the deep post is not going to be hit. That stings so much. I highly doubt we're going to be able to reach the end zone on this play unless I'm able to set my feet, throw it up, and it's just not enough. We're so close to becoming the backup and I think it's a lock if we can get one more good roll on an upgrade. We did is we're going to be able to boost our overall by three more, but now there's no more position battles available for me. It says, do you want to advance to next season? And I thought we had a couple more in us, but now we have to beat out a freshman who's a worse overall. But I guess it's all good. I didn't realize we improved this much in year one, and that's a huge jump. So we're going to be able to go for the starting job pretty quickly. As a team, we've also improved to a 75 overall. So things are looking up, but that was a very rough first season. So if you all can smash 5,000 likes, I'll make sure to get part two out as soon as possible.